Keys with Mr. T, where we like to be educational, entertaining, and enlightening. Today we're going to look at a brother out of Toronto, Canada by the name of Jamal Campbell. And he's going to be uh, featured in our gallery walk that we're going to put together to show you today. At 23, he got tapped by Boom Studios a couple years back to start their Mighty Morphin's Power Rangers set, as well as uh, Bill and Ted Go to Hell. And he got the opportunity to launch their issues. And he's done work on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you know, ever since, as well as some works there. And here's some of the variant issues that he's done. He's the Texas covers most of them. Just a little show you a little bit of his flavor, the kind of work that he does. Then he left and he went over to Marvel. Uh, I think uh, Bendis was there. I think he got him to come over to Marvel. So at Marvel, he had a couple different things that he was working on, and he this is really really started to come into uh, this variant world where a lot of people like his variant work and he's got a lot of work with that he worked on you know a lot of inhuman stuff he worked on the year of marvels he did some power man ghost rider so he the cloak and dagger negative exposure I actually do have uh, that trade issue here's some of the variants that he did they're, they're crazy fire some really really nice ones there so that's some of the work he's did. And then he, he, he after he finished working at Marvel, he ended up coming over to DC. And uh, that's where we're gonna look at him now because in the gallery walk, his work currently now is on Far Sector, and he, which is a comic that I read, and Naomi uh, was a run that was there. And we're gonna look at those pictures in our gallery walk using the framed uh, fo uh framed uh, uh comic books like i did in uh, my previous videos so he did vixen justice league action comics naomi and far sector which are the ones that we're going to be looking at on our gallery walk and here's some of the some of the uh, some of the uh, Texas covers that he did. Is in addition to his fixing one. He also uh, is going to did he did the Batman 100 of a a variant for that comic book, the 100 issue of Batman. And he's doing the other history of DC Universe, the both regular cover and the variant which I'm getting both of those. Uh, so he's done that. And then also, he is also an illustrator. So these are just covers that he did, but he does, he illustrates a lot of comic books. And he was the illustrator for the 1000 issue anniversary, issue 1027 of Detective Comics and Batman. So he did a great job. So we're going to look at the little gallery walk that I yeah, so what I did was, normally I have all my teacher favorite movie prints. So I changed out in the same way I used the comic book covers, the same dollar frames. And I lined up my hall hallway up to walk up the hall. Now, I, my when my youngest granddaughter saw it and said, oh, 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 I can fly, ooh. And she saw it and she saw herself. I knew I had done the right thing. So this is just a little, another way you can use comic books to make things interesting. Just use them a different way. So thanks for uh, checking it out. And now we're gonna look at a little bit of uh, the gallery walk and a close up look on all the comic books that I have in my collection. So enjoy. <laughs> 